patients feel more comfortable. They have see somebody that looks like them that they can relate to. Before I applied, when I got into Memphis and Rutgers, were all white, bro. Mm-hmm. So, you oh know, yeah, Everyone. that was just the reality. Yeah, that was just the reality. It's like white females, white males, black females, and then black males are like two percent of all PAs in the country. Literally, how many people look like me? And bro, it's kind of like like it's kind of like a gallon of vanilla or a half gallon of vanilla ice cream with a black speck. That's what that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> Helping others is a calling. It's not a job. Was to give people a chance that would not usually otherwise have a chance at PA school, low GPA folks. Um, and then I also went a lot into the demographics of PA programs. And this was a few years ago. They are changing, thank goodness. Um, but a lot of demographics, like we mentioned previously, was Almost everybody, like 70 plus percent, was basically young, um, 25 or so or younger, uh, suburban, middle to upper class, Caucasian female. I took it upon myself to want to change that and give other people a chance. Uh, There's like in our national zeitgeist, there's a huge conversation about diversity. It means so many different things to so many different people. In medicine, I keep saying over and over again, in medicine specifically, it's important. It's specifically important uh, because not that you have to be the exact same demographics as your patients, but it helps in specific areas, like specifically about language or culture. If you're in a culture, you understand a culture that somebody perhaps is not, you're better able to communicate with patients from that culture who might not have good experiences with medicine, right? So I'm Russian. I speak Russian. Uh, Russians are some of the most annoying people to treat on the face of the earth because they're always looking for a solution that's not there. Uh, and they don't trust you either, even if you're Russian. But if you speak Russian, it helps. And they're like, all right, damn, I'll take the stupid drugs and I'll stop eating my, you know, whatever, my super hot soup. Uh, this is why they all have GERD. But anyway, that's just a very, very specific example. But I just wanted to give you the floor and have you talk about it as well. Yeah, man. Uh, well, thank you for obviously... Uh, creating this platform or being openly willing to talk about that. Um, so I tip my hat to you, Boris, my friend. Um, it always helps to have somebody of the Caucasian descent, I will say, that represents the majority to speak up on that. I think that makes up a lot of difference as well. Um, in terms of, for me, diversity is obviously um, a big a big portion of it. I always say it goes like white females, white males, black females, and then black males are like 2% of all PAs in the country, literally. Honestly, that even seems high to me. Right. That, and it might I've be lower. I've never met one. Yeah, exactly. And I've you never know met one. Right. I've never met one. I didn't meet I've one before one. I got to Rutgers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Literally. All, yeah, literally. Like everybody the that only... my um, letters of recommendation. Yeah. Before I applied, when I got into Memphis and Rutgers, were all white, bro. Mm-hmm. So, you oh, know, yeah. Everyone. That was just the reality. Yeah, that was just the reality. That's literally um, by statistics the reality. Yeah, it's the, it's the reality, and you hit it on the nose. Yeah. Like patients feel more comfortable; they have see somebody that looks like them that they can relate to, at least a it's, little it, bit to some degree. Yeah, of course. Last week, it's funny you said that. Last week, I walked in. I was taking care of a patient. It was an annual physical, pretty basic. Mm-hmm. Walked in. Guy looked at me. He said, "You know, who are you?" I said, "You know, my name's James. I'm a PA student. I'm rotating here. I'm helping to take care of you today." And he got excited, man. I. I didn't know what was wrong. He's just like, man, I've been in this office, you know, for X number of years. All I've seen is like white males or white females. He said, you're the first black male PA I've ever seen. I said, well, I'm not, you know, I'm a student. Right. I'm not. He said, doesn't matter. Like, you're going doesn't to be matter. <laughs> Yeah, he's like, right. it's awesome, bro. He said, you're going to help a lot of people. You're basically a unicorn. He said, keep mm-hmm. up the good work because people like me, we need people like you. And that made me feel good, you know, especially after a tough mm-hmm. day. But that's just a microscopic of what a lot of people that look like me or any ethnicities are feeling because it's just tough, man. I look at a lot like on Instagram, I'll look at different pages of different PA programs, you know, friends I made through Instagram and they're graduating class. And I've, you know, this is the first time I pick up on how many people look like me. And bro, it's kind of like, like, it's kind of like a gallon of vanilla or a half gallon of vanilla ice cream with the black speck. That's what, that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> just, but only one. It's just one, but it's right. That's there's the not even. It's not even like a, a whole ice cream cone with like a few yeah. sprinkles. Literally one sprinkle. Literally, it's, one. it's that rare. It's that rare, bro. 